Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will make an ESP32 RPC control relay without using any third party IoT platform. And you don't need any external RTC module to make this project. Here, we will use internal RTC of the ESP32 to calculate the time. And the best part once the ESP32 get the time from the NTP server, afterwards, it will use the internal RTC to calculate the time. So in this project, first ESP32 will connect with the Wi-Fi just to get the time from the NTP server initially. Afterwards, it will use internal RTC to calculate the time and accordingly control the relay as per the predefined time. On the OLED, you can see the current time on the top. Currently, the one time is 21.39, which is 9.39 pm. The relay should automatically turn on and you can see the lamp turns on. Then at 21.40, which is 9.40 pm, the relay should automatically turn off. And of course, you can change the on time and off time as per your requirement. This is the version 1. In future, I will try to add more features to the circuit and the circuit is very simple. Anyone can make it after watching the complete video. So without any further delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium, which is a world-class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple, you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. And now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB Designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. To make this project, you need an ESP32 OLED. You can either use active high or active low relay module. If you use this relay module, then if you place the jumper between common and H, then it will act as an active high. And if you place the jumper between L and common, then it will act as an active low relay module. Here I am using it as an active high relay module. As you can see, the jumper is between common and H. And here I will control this lamp with the relay, but you can control any other appliances with this project. Now we will connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit, I have used this AC to DC converter just to give 5V DC to ESP32. If you give direct 5V to ESP32, then you can skip this AC to DC converter. This OLED is also optional. It will just display the current time. And here you can see I have connected this active high relay module with the ESP32. The control pin is connected with the GPIO33. As I said, you can also connect a active low relay module. For that, you just have to do some modification in the code, which we will discuss in the coding part of this video. And for manual control, you can connect this switch across the common and NO terminal of the relay. So the circuit is very simple. Here you can see I have connected the ESP32 with the OLED and the relay module as per the circuit. Also connected this lamp with the relay. Now let me program the ESP32. So let me connect it with the laptop. This is the code for this project. Let me open it with Arduino IDE. So as I said, we are not using any other third party IoT platform, but you have to install these libraries for this project. You just have to copy the name of the library, search the library in the library manager and accordingly install it. After that, you have to enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Then you have to enter the NTP server for your country. Now to get the NTP server for your country, you have to visit this page. You can find the link in the description. I live in India, so I will click on Asia. Then I will click on India. 
to get the NTP server for India. Then I will copy it, then paste it in the Arduino IDE. Then you have to calculate the GM offset for your country. For India, GMT is 5.3. So here I am multiplying 5.5 into 60 into 60 to get this 19800. You have to calculate it as per your country. After that, this is the GPIO pin for the relay. Then define the OLED parameter. In my case, the height of the OLED is 32. So here I mentioned 32. In your case, if it is 64, mention 64 here. After that, you have to define relay on time and off time in 24 hour format. So currently it is hard coded in the code. Of course, in future, I will try to take this on time and off time as a variable from the web server or any third party Bluetooth app. But for today's project, you have to hard code the value in the code as per your requirement. Then in the void setup, first we are defining the display. Then we are trying to connect with the Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi is connected, then we are fetching the time from the NTP server. Then in the void loop, we are starting the RTC to calculate the current time. From here, you don't need any Wi-Fi connection. Then we are displaying the current time in the OLED. We are also displaying the relay on time and off time in, on the OLED. Then we are comparing the current time with the predefined value. Here we are comparing the time with the relay on time. If the time match, the relay will automatically turn on. Then in the LC block, we are comparing the current time with the relay off time. If the time match, then the relay will automatically turn off. And if you use active low relay module, then just uncomment this line and comment this line as for the active low relay module, you have to send low in the control pin to turn on the relay and high in the control pin to turn off the relay. So accordingly, you have to uncomment and comment the line for the active low and active high. If you use active high, then do not do any change here. Now before uploading the code, I will enter the relay on and off time. Currently it is 2137. So let me enter the time 2139, then 2140. So at 2139, the relay should automatically turn on. Now go to tools, select the board and port then hit the upload button here you can see after uploading it fetch the time from the ntp server currently the time is 21:38, and the relay should automatically turn on at 21:39. so let's see see the relay automatically turn on now it will turn off automatically at 21:40. so this is a very useful project you can define the time as per your requirement and the relay will automatically turn on and off as per the predefined time. So after 30 seconds, the relay should automatically turn off. See the relay automatically turn off at 2140. So this is a very useful project and you can also control this lamp from this switch. Currently it is connected in parallel with the common and inno terminal of the relay and this is version 1 in future i will try to add more features to the circuit so that you can modify the on time and off time from web server or any bluetooth app you can also let me know what are the new features you want me to add in this project if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for the upcoming videos thank you for watching have a great day